at the moment our forecast, the last forecast we made is still a little bit lower. It's a little bit more than 4% for this year, about 3.5, 3.6% for next year. Uh, but uh, when the third quarter data come out, we will revise and we are quite likely to revise up to roughly the same amount as the fund, 5%, 5.1%, given the very strong growth performance that we've already seen in the second quarter and that we expect to continue into the third quarter. What it shows is that uh, Turkey has done a very good job at recovering from the shock that it experienced in the middle of 2016 with the uh, failed attempted coup. Obviously, after that coup, growth uh, declined in the third quarter, um, but the government, which had been managing the macro economy quite well, had space for a fiscal stimulus and it used that space. It enacted a fiscal stimulus which helped the economy to recover. Appropriately introduced uh, a fiscal stimulus after the failed attempted coup in July of 2016. And it is very aware that uh, Turkish firms need to improve productivity and that the level of technology embedded in exports to Europe needs to go up for Turkey to climb up to higher income. So it is working on these things. Having said that, it is not easy for any country in the world to make that happen. It requires uh, a sustained effort over a fairly long period of time, partnership between the private sector and the public sector, and action beyond investment in firms to ensure that uh, Turkish workers, in this case, have the education and the physical capacity to contribute as much as they uh, can. Every economy in the world, every country in the world needs to continue reforming. Even advanced economies, if they stand still, they will start to fall behind. So this is not unusual. So we're working on a number of things. Uh, labor market uh, flexibility is very, very important. Um, deepening the capital markets is very important. Uh, ensuring that the education system produces individuals who are able to solve problems, uh, who uh, can contribute to a, a modern workforce is also very important. Um, ensuring that public expenditures are directed in the right ways is critical and then supporting uh, the parts of the Turkish uh, economy, the manufacturers, the, the industries, the service providers uh, that are developing products that will be competitive in Europe, which is the nearest large market for Turkey, is also very important. So there are a number of different things that need to be done. The central bank actually is responding appropriately with a tight monetary policy. Um, it hasn't been so tight that it has succeeded in bringing inflation down to its 5% target. As you know, uh, over the last number of years, it was around 8%, 7.5% to 8.5%. We now have seen a, a jump to uh, 10, slightly above uh, 10%, but we anticipate that that will actually fall back to roughly 7 or 8% uh, going forward.